Okay, so you're looking for a way to simply and easily create a cover for your Kindle without having to spend hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of dollars on uh, Photoshop type software. Well, we're going to use Microsoft Windows 7 and we're going to use uh, Microsoft Paint to do it very simply and in just a few moments. Uh, so we're going to create a cover for one of the books that I am uploading. Um, and uh, I've already got paint in my recent list here, but what I'm going to do is come down to all programs. I'm going to go into accessories, and then we're looking for paint. Now, again, this is uh, Windows 7, and uh, Service Pack 1 for Windows 7 is what's out and available at the moment. We're going to resize the image. Now, the first thing you need to know as of the end of 2011 uh, is that to get an image uh, to fit a current Kindle it needs to be 400 by 600 pixels and that's 400 horizontal and 600 pixels vertical you want to click over first thing you do this being Windows 7 this being paint is you click resize and then you click pixels then you uncheck maintain aspect ratio because right now the aspect ratio is way off so we're going to type in 400 and 600 and we're going to click OK. That's going to resize it. Then I am going to choose a black background. So the color is black. And then I'm going to choose the paint can up here to, I'm going to click on it. Now the color I've chosen is black. The paint can is selected. And I'm going to click on there. I now have a black blank background. Now I'm choosing black because of the picture I'm going to put on it. I'm going to choose to save it. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'm going to call it. Kindle cover. Um, I'm going to change it to a JPEG file, just personal preference. Now, on my desktop, I have saved a file called uh, First Book Cover. And I'm going to right click on it. It's a, it happens to be a JPEG file, I believe. Yes, it's a JP, JPG file, JPEG. I'm going to right click and click Open With, and then I'm going to choose Paint. Now when it opens you'll notice uh, it's a picture of like a dungeon looking from the outside in. Now I'm going to select the whole picture and you'll notice that the I can I can do it a couple ways. I can click select and I can choose the outside edge like so. Or uh, I can I can click off of that. I can hit control and hold it down on the keyboard CTRL and hit A that's going to select the whole picture. Now what I want to do is I want the picture smaller than uh, what is uh, on this other window. If you come down at the bottom you'll see the other window I've got is 400 by 600 and I want it to take up a good chunk of space but I don't want it to take up the whole thing. So there's a couple ways I can do it. I can grab the corner of it and I can just sort of I'm going to hit control Z because I accidentally did something I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm going to come down to the corner since I've selected it and kind of kind of change it down a little bit like so. Now that I've done that and I kind of like the size of it, I'm going to right click on it and say copy and then I'm going to come back over to this other image and I'm going to paste it. And <clears throat> I'm going to move it down and sort of center it. And you notice it kind of changed the side dimensions and since I can see where it was before, I'm going to move it back and then I'm going to check my dimensions to make sure they're correct. Resize and um, by pixels it is, oh I was off by one. Look how close that was. 400 over 600. I'm going to turn off the aspect ratio, uh, maintain aspect ratio. I've got 400 by 600. Now <clears throat> what I've now got is instead of that blank background I've now got my image centered in the middle of this dungeon and you're looking from the inside of the dungeon out and there's a reason for that so we're gonna come up here and click save now I'm going to insert text and here I've clicked on text now I want the text to be and again I'm gonna come over I've got text clicked I'm gonna come over and click on the white and then I'm gonna tell it that I want it to be I don't want it to be opaque so I'm going to click in the window with text and what it does is it's centered on transparent. This is me typing. Helps if I can spell typing. Okay, so I like what it's telling me right here. I like the font and everything. I'm going to backspace it out and I'm going to type in the name of the book.
This is an ebook that I put together. It's called From Broke to Broker and Other Stories of Finding Financial Freedom. I'm going to center it in the middle. Uh, you can put you can align it left. I think I I actually like the left align on this a little bit better. And that's the name of my book. And um, uh, at the bottom of it, I'm going to come down and I'm going to click out of it, and that's going to allow me to put in more text. This is the cover I've chosen to go with for my project. It's a very simple, straightforward cover from Broke to Broker and Other Stories of Finding Financial Freedom. Um, again, this was done in Microsoft Paint, otherwise known as Paint, uh, in Windows 7. And you can come down below uh, the at the start menu, the little round start menu now that they have in Windows 7. Click on Accessories and then come down to Paint and it's going to let you do that. And I'm going to click Save again. There's a couple ways to do that. You can come down in, in the menu and click Save or just click Save at the top. Uh, the new paint is much more like Office 2010 or, or Office 2007. But anyway, that's the basic logo that I chose to go with. Um, just remember that you need to set the pixels to uh, 400 by 600. And uh, that is how you create that for um, the Kindle itself as of again 2011 so if you have any questions don't forget to post them you can then take this file and make sure you remember where it's saved in my case I saved it on the desktop I'm gonna get rid of the donor file that I was playing with but here's my cover I can open it and look at it increase the size of it zoom in and zoom out this is where I've saved it so when I go to upload it from uh, the the Kindle uh, digital uh, site. When I go to upload the file itself, I will be able to see what it is that, uh, where to browse to rather, and click on this file and select it to open. So, again, check that out. Um, you can also come down below the video you're watching and click this, this show more, and there's a link actually to a couple of the books I put together, so you can check them out on Amazon and see what the finished cover looks like, etc. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have yourself a great day now. Bye.